Right, well, hi everybody, and welcome back to Lundy's Wildcamp Store Bushcraft. And as you can see, me and Rooney are back out in what it was semi permanent camp. Uh, obviously, as you've seen by a bit of the footage, Rooney's out in his hammock, and I'm dossing down on my canvas stretcher bed. So, just about getting there now. Just got a few little tweaks to do, put some kit in organization, and then uh, start getting some firewood. Now, time's ticking on a little bit, just after four o'clock. But we've been on a little mission today, but we'll talk about that later on. And it's bloody good news. And anyway, so tonight I think Rooney's going to be cooking a Chinese in a Chinese Indians. <laughs> Rooney's going to be cooking a Chinese curry. Is that right? Yes. Yes, not a Chinese Indians curry, because that would be that would be a kind of mixed up, wouldn't it? But anyway, a bit like me, my mind scrambled because we've been on an amazing mission. But anyway, it, um, yeah, we're just going to finish getting set up and everything. Rooney's just doing his final little tweaks. I've just nearly ripped one of his guidelines out of the floor already, walking past. Because <laughs> two. two. Ah, it was two, wasn't it? Two. So there, look at I'm back out with the main man. It's been a canny while, mate, hasn't it? It has, yes. It has. Things going on in the real world. Yes. <laughs> It certainly has, mate. Not in Rooney's world. Not in Rooney's world. The real world. Aye. Life. <laughs> Rooney's world is totally. Well, put it this way. It's three I'm, not, I'm not sure what colour his sky is because he's not on this planet, is he, ladies and gentlemen? Use that watch a lot, he'll understand what I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we'll see how, we go, how the world turns out the night. Yes, we will. Yeah. So we've got a few sherbets to drink tonight and uh, a nice bit of food to cook. Just got to get a bit of wood prepped and then we're just going to sit down and chillax for the night because my legs are killing. I've been walking around for miles today. But anyway, yeah, um, camp hasn't been touched since the last time we've been here, so that's great. There's a few bits of fallen branches and a couple of trees down like. But other than that, happy days. Fireplace is still in situ. And uh, we've got some firewood already there. I'll get all that sorted. It looks a little bit damp like, which it probably will be. But uh, yeah, and anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna get some fluids, get me saw and me gloves and start getting some wood prepped ready for a fire. Uh, it should be getting dark about quarter six now, I believe, Some, somewhere around that in any rate, but obviously we're in a pine woodland, so it'll get darker quicker. Right, waffle, waffle. See you later. Right, well, as you've seen, that's lots of uh, wood prep done for our fire tonight. And we've got the fire set up as well with loads of damp wood all the way around. And that'll dry out throughout the night. We'll just keep adding that to the fire. So anyway, um, I noticed in the email I had a, someone bought us free coffees. And the message was, uh, get, get Rooney some gravies. So I went and got a, a, a box, of, box of Stella. And we've got a few here. And I'm going to nick one as well. Because I can't let Rooney have all the fun. Gravy, gravy, gravy. gravy. Cheers, mate. Great to be back out with you, Rooney, son. All right, it's been a while. It has. One day, I'm put my microphone in there so it picks the both of it up. Well, yes, um, whoever sent them, I'm humbled by it. You know, like I say, there's um, it's it's nice to know that there's some really nice people out there, and mm -hmm. um, I greatly thank you. You know, so like whoever, you whoever you are, I'll have a look at the email again and um, I've, I've got a reply to you in any way, so I'll ask you for your name and I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, so cheers, he or she, or he and she, whoever you are. Gravy women Gravy. and dumplings and potatoes. <laughs> oh, 
that's really nice. Do you know what it is? I'm on a, I don't drink a lot of lager and I think the last time I had one of these was about a month ago. And uh, that tastes really, really nice. So thank you. Well, I think it was at least a month ago that I've never had one of these. <laughs> I've had gravy. What a, what a I've, free one. <laughs> yeah, I've had gravy every meal. <laughs> Have you had gravy every meal? Gravy every meal. But I, um, I, I think I, I think I've said about the firewood. I'll just show you a couple of little clips on where we're talking. So we've got we've got enough firewood to get with fruit tonight. To and, cook with. To cook with, and then just a small fire to sit and chill in front of. Um, I know we've been grafting, but I feel kind of warm. I've only got my t-shirt on underneath you at the, at the moment. It's it, it's a really pleasant night, isn't it? No, it's not. It's cold. <laughs> is it? Oh, that's because well, you've been. I, that's cause, I've is, got very thin pants on. Mm -hmm. I've got nothing underneath. <gasps> Naked underneath. <laughs> Apart from me Honda pants. Your Honda pants. Brum, brum. <laughs> 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 oh, I, so, I've heard that quite a few oh, times. So that uh, yes, and uh, I've got to. Uh, um, I've got a Jimmy String shirt on. <laughs> Why you? You put it on a hot wash like? <laughs> no, no. But um, I've got I've got one of these. Well, looks like I've got a pair of breasts at the moment. But uh, well, you yeah, have. I have yes, but I don't call them breasts. Man boobs. <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> All right. Answers in a qu <laughs> question. <laughs> got that wrong, didn't I? Aye. <laughs> right. Put a comment in on what you think I call them. And I'll tell you next time. One. Well, as you can see, it's no pitch black. It's about half past six at night. Me and we have just been sitting, chewing the fat and having a can of lager. And uh, we're about to get the fire started. So I've got the two little Twizzlers from Rooney's Fire Dufas tin. And that's it there. All right. So all I'm going to do is I've got two little bits of wood on the floor to put my knees on because the floor is saturated so what we're going to do is with these we just get them give them a good twist they've got some cotton wool inside and we just want to get a couple of fibers going so we can get a bit of a spark on it and i'll get the other one now we can't just use just the one but i always like to give myself a fighting chance so and then we'll get the fires done and then once it's all going nicely we'll get some food done because uh, I'm a, feeling a bit parched like a bit hung, parched a bit hungry actually so I'm just going to give this one a good swizzle around and then just get me for a rod and then see how long it takes before it takes a spark nearly went on one go there all you need is a spot to land in the right place, which it has just there. And then we'll just let the let the flame build up a little bit. I, I'm, I'm assuming you can see it on the screen, like, I think you can. There you go. We'll get this other one alight. That's it, and then we'll just start getting some of these little twigs. I'm going to start off with the really fine ones first. They're slightly damp on the outside. I'm just going to put that stick there so I can just lean them on. And then you just keep building your fire up. So you can see there's a bit of smoke there because they are quite damp. This woodland here is a damp place like. All, most most pine woodlands are on anyway. Oh. The fire the fire starters are starting to take take shape now. And just the object of the game is just try not to smother it. Because it's the only small little fire starters, you know. But I Rooney's the fire starter maker. <laughs> so we'll just keep building it up, building it up. And then the next time you see us, we'll have a lovely big fire gun.
hadn't seen them in real life. No, they're working, mate. And you can see the smoke coming off there, so there's a lot of dampness. Now, I could have took my time with the bits of twigs and give them a scrape and get all the dampness off the outer edges, but it's it's very time consuming. And I had a can of lager to drink. Now we're going, just well, keep it. I keep... don't know, but you see, like, I'll not uh, drink alcohol before a certain time, I just drink gravy. Gravy. Right, well, as you've seen, Rooney's been cooking a nice Chinese curry. So we're just about ready to plate up now. So I'm going to take off this little pot hanger here, the rice. Because rice is nice. Especially with spice. <laughs> and I'm just going to move that can out of the way. Put my cup up there. I've got my little, my little neck knife to cut open the bags. And I've got me, um, I'll just put my spatula on the floor because I can give it a wash. So I've just got me little wooden plate there. Give me your frying pan, mate. Oh. Nah, as long as you wash it. <laughs> well, it's nice and warm off, hanging up next to the fire. All right, that's perfect. Oh, I've just nearly stabbed my thumb there. <laughs> but right, we've got some rice in here. That's what it is. Some... <laughs> you got your ladle? So what we've done is we've boiled the, ri uh, boiled the rice first and then we've left it. Uh, hanging up in the heat, it just off centre from the um, fire and that swelled up really nicely like um, I think one bag would have probably have done the pair of like but never mind Oh yeah we got again, but he'll eat it all It's enough to feed a small village like Rooney <laughs> This chicken kung po Chicken kung po That's yes. It sounds very nice, and it looks and smells delicious. Oh, can I wait for this? Can it wait? Oh, I need to get me my um, me racing spoon off me bed. God damn it. I've got a fork and I've got a spoon. I'm just going to use a spoon. Oh, you're dropping all sorts on the floor. Rice is nice. Oh, nice. Is it? I'm going to... Oh God, that's delicious. I've just had a little bit of the sauce and that's amazing. Wow. Never had this before. No, you haven't, Jimmy. I thought I'd treat you to something a little bit different. Aye. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like I can't have you going around eating small villages all your life. There's a little bit of a um, red pepper thing there. I'll oh, pick that up off the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of rice. Because rice is nice. Oh, the rice is really good. Rice is nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've got loads in there, man. Yeah, scrape, lick. Look at all that in there. Look at all that. Look. Oh, yeah. 
Was ist das? 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 Was ist in your so in any way, I'm just going to turn my, uh, my camera light on, if I can get my hand to it, so you can see. And there you go, and Rooney's got the same in my frying pan. Uh, it smells and looks delicious. So let's have a little taste. I think this is a bit of chicken. Mmm. Oh, the flavours are amazing, mate. Mmm. Oh yeah, I like that. That's definitely something different. Very nice. Mmm. Hello. That is really, really, really nice. So now anyway, I'm going to sit and eat this. Louis going to sit and eat his. We're going to sit and chill. We're going to put some tunes on. And... Then obviously I'll be washing a lot of dishes <laughs> and uh, I'll be as fat as a fat thing in a fat shop and I'll be very happy. So anyway, we'll come back later on after the food and we'll have a little discussion and I'll see you in a bit. Legs is on fire, Leg <sighs> Legs on fire drinks in hand and off we go. Well, it's... He's, drinking, <laughs> He's drinking gravy. I'm, I'm drinking Jack Daniels. You can have as much gravy as you want, mate. And anyway, we've um, been sitting, chilling, snoozing, eating, and getting warm, and getting cold, and then getting warm. So we've got the fire going again. It's about half past 11, quarter 12 at night. And uh, I just thought I'd bring you back, because I forgot to mention about the little mission that we've been on today. So me and Rooney have been out to a undisclosed dis uh, location, undisclosed location, checking out a new woodland. It is brilliant. I'll put some little clips on as I'm talking. So and anyway, it's, um, long story short, I was out with the wife in a certain area uh, doing a little bit of shopping and we got talking to this lady and this lady has a massive farm and on the farm has a lot Good. a lot of woodland so i got talking to her about what i do and one thing led to another and we end up going there today to visit her and her husband and have a look around the um, area and the woodland is absolutely fantastic we've got a mixed woodland there's a pine woodland there is a small lake stroke pond down on the bottom end of the area and there's lots of opportunities there and uh, yeah so we've now got ourselves a new permission and uh, it's a new part of an adventure for this channel so I've, I've, I've scored for an amazing permission area woodland um, spoke about um, doing a little bit of hunting on there as well with the air rifles and things and we've got the green light for that as well so that's something else I can bring into the channel a um, bit of well I've, I've, got a, I've got a real nice air rifle that I've had for a long time I've never been shooting for a while so I'll start getting myself zeroed in on that again and then uh, We'll be doing lots of catch and cooks videos, things like that, once we get ourselves settled in. Like I say, it's going to take a while to get set up and established in this area. Um, we've sort of like worked out what we we'll want to do, haven't we, today? A rough plan. Um, but yeah, it is something great. It's a great start of the year. I couldn't believe it. And I'm so, so happy. In short, he's basically won the Wonka bar wild camping. Yeah, I feel like I've won the lottery, basically. It is fun dabby dozy And I cannot wait to start going camping there. 
We've got a lovely bit of uh, water source run through there. It's a lovely and clear as well, so that's even better. And uh, oh, it's it's just fantastic. I've got a, a few short clips of the area. Um, I'm not going to disclose where it is or which part of the 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 country it's in or anything to do with it. I'll not be doing any walk-ins to it. I'll not be showing any aerial footage of it. It'll be all inside the woodland. I'm not giving the game away at all, but it is an amazing permission woodland. And I'm looking forward to bringing you along and showing you more of it. So yeah, happy days. And I don't know if the the farmer and his wife will be watching this, but if you saw, once again, thank you very much and cheers. Yeah. And anyway, do you like Rooney's wig? <laughs> it's not. It's a it's a stealth hair design. It is, I. Yes, it's so people don't recognise us in the dark. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't recognise him before. I was anyway, like, who's that strange man? Jimmy said what he's got to see. And I've got to see it, have a little bit of a, a whinge to his degree. And, um, yeah, it's like the hardship of life. You know, like you think about these old trail busters in the 1800s going across America, getting pelts to make top hats and various things. And um, as the world evolved, you come back to... 2024 and the hardships that we faced as young people and um, I just happened to be talking to a younger person today and um, it become quite obvious of the dangers and the hardships of life that I've had to go through as a younger person and I was sitting there and we're like talking about like how technology's moved on and things like that. And I was telling them how life-threatening it could be at one time for us as younger people. And he says, well, what was so life-threatening? And I says, did you know that you have never seen a VHS recorder? And one of the life-threatening things was, I says, you've never had to sit and rewind a tape back to the start after you've watched a movie. Do you remember yeah. them times? Them dangerous times. <laughs> right, well, good morning, everybody. Well, it's about seven o'clock. I've been awake since about six o'clock, listening to the bird activity in the trees. And the bird song this morning is absolutely tremendous. It's a little bit chilly, it's about minus one. I felt a lot warmer in my sleeping bag though, I'll tell you that for now. But yeah, we had a cracking night last night, some nice food cooked by Rooney again. Uh, it's been good to have Rooney back out camping with us. Uh, putting the world to rights last night. I think you'll probably hear a bit of that on the video to be quite honest. Uh, Rooney's rant of the day. <laughs> but I. A good night last night, nice and relaxed. Oh, good to be back in the, in the semi-permanent camp. And uh, as I said last night, the future is looking bright for the channel. We're going to be uh, going doing a lot of visiting to the new Permission Woods, and we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, some of it is like a mixed woodland and then a pine woodland. So I think we're going to stick with stopping inside the pine woods like and use the resources from the other woodland for like firewood and bits and pieces. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this year pans out and the fact that I can go in there and do a bit of hunting as well, do some catching and catch, catch and cook videos, things like that. And uh, yeah, but hi, the woodland. It's starting to come alive this morning. It's still a little bit dark in here. But it's nice and bright outside. You can see on the tops. 
Oh, it's a glorious morning. It ain't raining, and that's a good thing. So in any rate, I'm gonna head back to camp. Just come for a little wander away from it, because I think Rooney's just went back to sleep. And I'm gonna get my first brew of the day on, and then uh, start getting some stuff packed away. So I've got a few tasks to do the day. And uh, I'm gonna go for a little, little hike around in the area and see what I can find. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because it's early in the morning and I'll see you later on. Right, well, I'm sorry I've never brought you back since speaking to you this morning. Um, we've just been decamping and then dismantling the camp as well. As you can hear, Rooney's making a hell of a racket with a plastic bottle because we're just about to uh, fill up a bin bag with all the bits and pieces that we have at camp. <coughs> and uh, I'll just quickly show you around. So the fire pits been totally full of water we've had about six litres of water in there off uh, bottles that we've had stashed and it's all been covered up tidied up as best we can this is all our rubbish all the empty bottles of water and everything that we've had stayed here we've put all the bits of wood off the bed and everything underneath the little shelter bit if we come back it's got something there the grills will be getting carried out and that's where I used to have my bag and uh, my bed. Excuse the bag for life, but that that had some stuff carried in with it. And uh, Rooney's area over there is untouched in any way. It's just where he had his hammock. So that's that's the end of an era for this area for quite a while now. So unless I decide to come back for a one-off visit. Um. So. Once again, thank you everybody for watching the videos and subscribing and welcome to all the new subscribers. Had quite a few this month, so about 140 odd subscribers, so that's fantastic. Uh, don't forget, if you did enjoy this and you're not subscribed, to please like, comment and subscribe. And if you do do uh, how you comment on, please put your name on it because I like to know who I'm speaking to. I will get back to you all, so thank you very much. I'm just going to head off to Rooney now, so he can waffle all his stuff. <laughs> so here he is. As you can see, his area is nice and clean. This is basically just for sleeping in a tent and hammock camp in this spot. So Rooney, good to have you back out, mate. Uh, it's been good. Clear the mind of the poisonous thoughts. Um, yeah. Not a lot to say, it's just been a very chilled out one. Um, a bit of relaxation, which is good for the soul. So, yeah, be kind to one another, uh, show respect as well, and uh, everybody stay safe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, when I'm carrying another small shop with us, if you'd missed a small <laughs> village, um, we'll see you then. Okay, you back. See you later, everyone.